interesting. So I came to American University in 1980 as an international relations major, and I took a class in musical theater because that's what I always wanted to do. And Sue Denny helped me quiet the inner voice and find my outer voice. I was the woman in the class who couldn't sing. <laughs> she taught me that I could sing, that everyone had a voice that could be shared, that was very personal and in their own way. I, I'll never forget, uh, I came back home and I said, I'm coming back to American University for the summer because Josh Logan oh, is yeah. coming. And I had a chance to take the Summer Institute with Joshua Logan. And listening to Sue Denny and Joshua Logan just tell stories on stage was enough uh, to have me hooked. I, I then uh, I, I decided to take a different path and become a lawyer. I listened to the inner voice in my head. <laughs> and it was actually Gail um, who brought me back to theater. And I'm very and forever grateful uh, when she said, would you like to come back and play Amanda? And I said, I'm a lawyer. I can't do that. <laughs> But what I learned from all the amazing uh, professors and theater professionals at American University was that what we have to offer um, standing center stage and learning how to use what you call our rays throughout our life can change the meaning of our life for ourselves and for those around us. Uh, later in life, I went back and started studying voice again with Sue because, gosh darn it, I was going to learn how to sing eventually. <laughs> And it was so special to learn how to breathe and to spend time in that basement drinking tea. I couldn't be an artist unless I had herbal tea in my house, right? Um, and to be with Sue, and, and I think one of the most special times was when I was pregnant, when my diaphragm was coming up into my chest, <laughs> as my son, now 17, was growing in my belly. And at the same time, Nicholas was growing in Christine's belly across uh, America, and she would feel my belly as if it was her grandson. So I learned about life from Sue, and then 12 years ago, my husband said, honey, we're moving to, it was my Green Acres mo moment, and he was moving his business to upstate New York, and I learned from Sue that you could go somewhere that was smaller and widen your horizons in ways you never could imagine. So she taught me that going, uh, she told me the story of Bob, and we all knew it, and how he plucked her off of Broadway and brought her to Washington, D.C. <laughs> and how she can be so larger than life, um, not necessarily being on a typical stage. So today, I actually work with business leaders all over the world, helping them share their stories with passion. When I think about the most important thing that I teach them is that we all have rays emanating from all of us every orifice, but the greatest rays are those that we exude when we stand center stage, living our life fully. And that's what I learned from Sue Denny. I'm very honored to 